The malofibrosis is the most aggressive and the deadliest among maloproliferative neoplasms. We all remember that the expected life expectancy is somewhere between five and seven years, but there is a lot to do to extend that life and possibly even eliminate disease as the best way to extend life. Now, we are not there yet. Our strategies for management of patients with malofibrosis are centered about uh, improving the quality of life, improving the bone marrow function, resolving the anemia, or decreasing the big spleen, which is uh, 20 to 30 times bigger in these patients than in normal people. This is what we are preoccupied. Now, we have uh, JAK inhibitors that inhibit the JAK stat pathway, which is underlying biological problem in these patients. So, so the spleen becomes smaller and the symptoms improve and some of the new agents that are about to come out, possibly from phase three studies as approved, would improve the anemia. But no therapy works forever. So new agents are being developed with new mechanism actions to uh, improve the anemia much more. Perhaps combinations with the JAK inhibitors will be the next step in development of these agents. Agents that can be combined with the JAK inhibitors to boost the control of the spleen and symptoms over a prolonged period of time. And finally, agents that may actually make people live longer. That would be the ultimate goal. Perhaps even without uh, eliminating disease, controlling the disease and make it as chronic as possible is the ultimate goal. That's why, apart from targeting certain markers on the cells or certain intercellular proteins, we are at this meeting gonna discuss the development of cellular therapies and vaccines for patients with malfibrosis. We are going after the malignant clone. We want to eliminate malignant clone and that would ultimately do the job of a cure and prolongation of life.